Miss Wharton here. Welcome to this week's phonics. This week we are looking at the A family. Now there's quite a lot on here so I would suggest doing all the tricky words and the sounds and the families each day but maybe doing a little bit of a different activity throughout the week. So one day maybe doing the reading, one day doing the sound buttons and one day writing them into sentence, the words into sentences and things like that with the spellings. Okay, so let's go. Tricky words. What? Oops. What? When? Were? There? Out? Like? One? Little? So? Do? Said, have, they, was, are, you, my, be, we, she, me, go, no, he, the, some, come, Two. Well done. So they're the phase th two, three and four tricky words. And then we'll do the phase five tricky words here. So we have people. There. Like it is their milk. O. Called. Asked. Looked. Mrs. Mr. And O again. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's go through our sounds together. So we have oo like in moon or u uh, like in book, e like in leak, o like in goat, r like in car, er like in rubber, er like in nurse, your like in treasure, ear like in beard, air like in hair, Ow like in cow or o like in snow. Oi like in coin. O like in horn. A like in rain. I like in night. Okay, on to the families. I like in night. I like in my. I like in tie. I like in time. O like in goat. O like in snow, O like in toe, O like in tone, O like in no, so and go. A like in rain, A like in day, A like in shape, A like in eight, A like in they. So we have some pictures here of some A split digraph words. And the first one, this one, is a snake. So I want you to sound it out on your arm with me. S -n -a -k, snake. Do it again. S -n -a -k, snake. Well done. Now have a go at writing that one and we'll have a look at this, how you did that at the end. Okay, the next one is whale. W -a -l, whale. Again. W -a -l. And the last one is shape, shape. Do it again. Shape, shape. Now, hopefully you've had a go at spelling all of those words. Have a look here. This is what you should have got. Now, if you chose a C rather than a K in snake, that's fine. You didn't know. You might have missed the H in whale. That's fine too. But hopefully you got the A split digraph correct. Okay. Now we're going to see some words and I would like you to practice reading them at home. So you can pause the screen and have a go at that. And there's some more here. Okay, we have an alien word. So I want you to do it with me. On your arm. P -er 
a b prave let's do that again p r a b prave now you could just read it on your and sound it out on your arm like that or you could have a go at writing it out and doing the sound buttons as well like this okay and there's another alien word here and this one is t r a m t r a m train and again you might have just sounded it out on your arm or you might have had a go at writing it and in which case you need to do the sound buttons just like that okay here are some words so you might do this on a different day now there are some words here that you could practice sounding out and reading or you can practice also writing them out and doing the sound buttons underneath them so pause the screen if you'd like to do this activity as well Moving on, at the end of the week when we've done it, a family or a sound, we do some spelling. So I'll show the children a picture and they write the words. So I'm going to go through the pictures and I'll show you how the sound buttons and the words should look at the end. So the first one is a delicious looking k a k cake. Next one, s n a k snake. Next one, u a k lake. Different a now. Think carefully. This one is t r a n train. T r a n train. Next one. Snail, 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 snail. Next one. Flake, 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 flake. Okay, with all of these, we talk about choosing the best bet. And what that means is if we're not sure which A it is, we just choose which one we think it might be. And that's okay. At this level, if we don't always know which A is in each word, that's okay as long as we've got an A sound in there. Okay, so well done if you've had a go at those. I will show you them on here. They are the words that you should have written. Hopefully you managed to get some of the best bets choices from the A family for some of those words and hopefully you've got your sound buttons correct as well. Now if you'd like an extra challenge what I would do is I would practice writing these words into sentences so try and think of some interesting sentences and write these words in them. Remember your capital letters, finger spaces and full stops and don't forget to keep your handwriting super neat. Okay, hope that's really helpful and you're having a really good week. See you later.